And the latest now on that deadly movie set shooting in New Mexico, a new affidavit that was filed says the assistant director, David Halls, told investigators he did not check all of the rounds in the gun involved in the shooting. He had declared that it was a cold gun, meaning it had no live rounds before handing it to actor Alec Baldwin. Hall told investigators he remembered seeing three rounds and said he should have checked all of them but did not. Investigators said yesterday they have recovered the lead projectile and shell casings that struck and killed the cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Approximately 500 rounds of ammunition, including live and dummy rounds, have been seized from the set. The Santa Fe County District Attorney is saying all options are on the table regarding possible charges connected to this case. Also, this New Mexico movie set tragedy has started some new calls now for reforms on rules that govern the use of firearms in the film industry. Yeah, Crown Force Rob Flatterbo reports a South Bay lawmaker is drafting legislation that would set new standards for the use of guns on movie sets. I, I think real guns that have real firing pins in them that can actually shoot when you pull the trigger need to be banned. State Senate Labor Committee Chair Dave Cortez is drafting legislation that would ban live ammunition and real guns on the set of movies shot in California. Cortez's proposal comes in the wake of a fatal shooting on the set of the film Rust in New Mexico where one crew member was killed and another injured. What we asked is, is that um, the best practices uh, be codified in state law so that there's there's some remedies and there's some penalties for people not complying. The proposed legislation comes amid reports that live ammunition was present on the set where actor Alec Baldwin fired a prop gun thought to be loaded with blanks, killing cinematographer Helena Hutchins and injuring director Joel Souza. Cortez says it's a simple matter of workplace safety. I think there's plenty of ways to, you know, to take the live firearms off the actual set, get them away from these crowds of of crews that are working on these sets. What we're doing is codifying rules that may have been ignored. Former but, cinematographer uh, and San Jose State uh, Professor uh, Harry Mathias says existing safety measures should be adequate, assuming they are being followed. He agrees, though, with the live ammo ban, but a ban on real guns, he says, would hurt creativity. There are no such thing as prop guns. Prop guns are real guns. However, if you keep ammunition off a set, then the real guns are safe. Uh, nobody makes look-alike guns that would convince anyone photographed in a film. You know, a lot of these sets, you would think they've taken the Wild West a little bit too seriously. You know, they're still using the Wild West kind of rules of engagement. Cortez is pushing for a first draft of the legislation to be ready by Friday. In San Jose, Rob Flatabo, Cron 4 News.